Dear Spirit-Filled Bride, There is only one group of people, a very special group of people, who are able to hear what the Spirit is saying in this last age. It is a special group that has received the revelation for this age. That group is of God. The group that cannot hear is not of God. The group that can and does hear what the Spirit is saying receives the true revelation. We are the ones who have the Spirit of God. We are the ones that are born of God and baptized with the Holy Ghost. We are His Spirit-filled bride that has received the revelation for our age. What does it mean for us to press play? Revelation. It is hearing, receiving, and staying with God's provided way for today. The very voice of God speaking lip to ear to His bride. It is the Holy Spirit speaking to our hearts and souls. We know God uses men anointed with His Spirit to speak, but there is no other place to hear Thus saith the Lord, except by pressing play and hearing the voice of his seventh angel, William Marion Branham. It is the only voice vindicated by the Holy Spirit himself. He is God's voice, God's prophet, God's pastor, to us and to the world. When he speaks, we say, Amen to every word, for it is God himself speaking to us. His word is the only word that needs no interpretation. It is God using his voice to speak to his bride. It is God himself telling us, My little ones, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Before there was a speck of stardust. Before I was even known to you as your God, I knew you. You were in my mind, existing in my eternal thoughts. You are my literal spoken word seed bride. Although you were in my eternal thoughts, I did not express you until my designated and decreed season. For I knew you would be my special group that would stay with my word. All others have failed, but I knew you would not. I know that you are persecuted and made fun of because you have stayed with my prophet, but you are my true vine that has not deviated from my word, but has stayed true and faithful to my prophet who speaks my words. There are many others that have been faithfully taught, but they don't always learn how necessary it is to speak only what I have spoken through my messenger. How careful we must be to hear one voice, for the Spirit has but one voice, which is the voice of God. Oh, how important it is to hear the voice of God by way of His messengers, and then say what has been given to them to say to the churches. My word has always come to my prophet, but in this day I had my voice recorded so there would be no mistakes what I said to the bride. There is only one plumb line, only one rod, that is the word which I spoke through my angel, as in every age. My prophet is the word for the day. The tapes. His voice is a love letter to us. While the enemy constantly beats us down through our trials and tribulations and hardships, he sent his mighty angel to tell us that it is nothing but God's elective love to us, proving to us that he has chosen us as we will not move. His great purpose is after we have suffered for a while. 
He would make us perfect, establish and strengthen us. He told us that even our Lord Jesus was perfected by his suffering. What a blessing he has left for us. For by our suffering, he would bring us into perfection also. He is character building us through our trials and tribulations. For our character is not made without suffering. Thus, our suffering is a victory to us and not a gift. How can we prove our love to him? By believing what he says. Staying with his word. Conducting ourselves with joy through our trials and tribulations that he in his great wisdom allows to come to pass. How he lifts our spirit by hearing his word, his voice comforts our soul. When we press play and hear him speak, all our burdens are lifted. We can't even begin to imagine what treasures have been laid up for us through all of our tribulations. O oh, Bride of Jesus Christ, how happy I am to be one of them with each of you. What joy fills my heart to know he has given us a revelation of his word. When he tells us it will be so close, it would deceive the very elected if it was possible. He has given us the true revelation. Come get into the spirit with us this Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we hear the perfect word 60-1206, the Sumerian Church Age, Brother Joseph Branham.